Marvin, a bit different from how you're feeling this time last week. Yeah, definitely. A lot different, Sandra. Um, you know, I'm a lot happier today. <laughs> so, yeah, no, brilliant, brilliant. We spoke about going through in the cup, you know, you get one opportunity at it. You lose this game, there's, there's no more cup run for us So in this competition. So the important thing was to go through, and the boys did that, you know, with flying colours, if I'm honest. Um, absolutely fantastic from them. It was a, a very good performance today, wasn't it? It was a brilliant performance all round. Um, you know, and I've always spoken to the boys about how technically good they are. But if you don't mirror that with effort and an application and a desire to defend and a desire to attack and a ruthless it means absolutely nothing technical ability is a bare minimum because every morning they wake up they have that they have to wake up with a hunger and a desire to go out there every day and every game to give the effort they did today I said to them you know if you give that effort against anybody you know, you're going to be a real real hard opposition but if you come off of that like we did last week then you can lose to anybody and there's the fine margins in football you know the easiest thing in football is to work hard and you know that needs to be the bare minimum what we do as a football club going forward and credit to them for keep going right to the very end. Yeah, massive, massive credit for them, you know, because you know, when long balls are coming in and Brian Graham comes on the pitch, you know, we know how much of a danger he is. It's been easy for them to, you know, not fancy it, not want to go up with the headers, first balls, second balls, etc. And then a bit of composure as well when a ball drops to try and play a pass out and get to the other end of the pitch. You know, we have an effort, Kieran McKechnie has an effort at goal really late on in the game. Fantastic break. But as I said, energy, energy. Everything's a reflection of that. If you work hard, you know, all the other things fall into line. And some people say we're a little bit lucky maybe with them hitting the post. And I think Gibbo clears one and <laughs> nearly goes into his own goal. But, you know, people say the harder you work, the luckier you get. And I think we saw that today. You talked about it being a squad game. And mm -hmm. today was an example of that. Six changes at the start, but then Toddy coming off the bench and his first touch setting up for, for Effie. Exactly. A fantastic ball from Toddy, you know, to, to clip it to the back post. And then Effie finds himself up there. And it's been something we've been speaking about, you know. If you go up there as a defender, don't just go up there to be up there for the sake of it. Go up there to try and really head that ball in the back of the net or make some sort of contact with it to drop to somebody else for them to score. Same as when attacking players come back. You're not back there as an attacker. You're a defender now. So do your job and head the ball away. But now, as you said, it's a squad game. Six changes today. Day. Um, fantastic ball, toddy to the back post. Um, and I've spoken about last week, you know, nobody's shirt is safe at this football club because if we can come off it like we did last week, then that means that, you know, it has to be open season for every single shirt. And the boys who went in were absolutely fantastic today, so there's real competition here. And got off to a good start? Yeah, a fantastic start. I need to see it back again. What a, what a finish that was, honestly. Um, unbelievable finish, great technique. Guff, can I take an assist for that? He's, he's behind us. I, I told him to stay at the edge of the box and he might give me some credit in a minute. And then I didn't know about the next bit though. That was that was unbelievable. You know, you won't hit a sweeter ball than that. And technically that's how good he is. And he'd be frustrated because he's not been playing as much as he wants to play. And I said to him, just stay ready because when your opportunity comes, you need to take it. And he definitely did that today with a, with a fantastic goal and then a right-footed assist as well. It was more like what they can do today and going into the next couple of league games against teams at the top. That's a good way to, to go into it. It is, it is. Effort levels, that's what they can do. You know, Technically, as I just said earlier in the interview, they can do that all day long. They have that. That will never go away from you. But it's effort, it's application, it's how hard you want to work, how much you really want it. And, and something we put on the board you know, before coming out, effort is a choice. And that's a key, they're key words for me. Effort is a choice. So you decide how hard you want to work today and that will be a reflection on our result or our performance. Because sometimes you work extremely hard, Sandra, and you won't win those games of football and that happens. But never, ever let your effort go. Never let anybody question your effort, especially me as a manager of this football club. Never, ever let that happen again. And as I said, you know, it's a great start for them today and that's, you know, four wins out of five for me. And take that into next week against Falkirk when they really do need to to put in the effort and yeah, stuff. Yeah, they need to they need to reflect this performance, don't they? Re reflect that effort level, uh, and they'll be absolutely fine. If you don't do it, and you come away from it, then you make it a hard, hard Saturday for yourselves. So again, you know, I said to them, they're a young group by design. Um, so it's about them starting to believe in themselves and in each other, and knowing if they do work hard and they do do the ugly side of the game, then their football will take care of itself. And we saw that today.